Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and yes, Microsoft Operations Management Suite hands-on review for with you guys. And uh, this application is pretty cool. I, I received an email inside my inbox, and I clicked on it. And I started reading it, and I was like, "Whoa, this is just like SCOM, uh, Microsoft System." I think Microsoft System Center Operation Manager, but it's just online. So let's get started. So when you get to the Microsoft Operation Management Suite site, you can sign in if you already have an account and you already configure it, or you could try for free. I clicked on try for free. Uh, it takes you to this. You enter your uh, Hotmail, Live, or Outlook accounts. I entered my live.account, and as soon as you enter your email account, it redirects you to this. Uh, you sign in. Once you sign in, you get this little dialog box to create your new workspace. Enter your workspace name and email. Then pick your workspace region. And once you pick that, you create. You click on create. Once you click on create, uh, you're gonna get this nice little window. And uh, you click on you click on get started. And when you get click started, you get this. Then you have to follow one, two, and three. And uh, be, but before you do that, you're gonna get an email, and the email wants you to confirm that you are the person that logged in and that you created your first Microsoft Operations Management Suite workspace. So just make sure you confirm that. This is the login address. So in case you log out and you need to log back in, and so let's get started. So the way that I set it up is uh, you click on Add Solution. You only got one added solution as you can see you get all this all these goodies by default you click on added solution and once you click on that you get to number two connect to a data source now you could download the windows agent and uh, within there you can also have a workspace ID and a primary key which you're gonna be getting pretty soon it looks like they don't have a Linux agent as of yet which is uh, can I'm pretty excited to get the Linux agent to see how that works well I downloaded the uh, agent and I'm running the agent on a Windows Server 2016 technical preview number two uh, double click on it get this nice little dialog box click on next accept the terms I left it as a default click on next uh, the default option is enable local connection on the Intel trace logs it requires dotnet framework 3.5 or higher which is pretty cool this installs powershell interface for gathering advanced application diagnostic data in app uh in local itrace files you, if you have a microsoft azure infrastructure you could actually connect that to there uh if you have a system center operation manager or scom infrastructure server inside your network you could connect that i don't have those two things so i just left the default click on next I hit install it starts doing its thing and it finished once it completed uh, I went into the site to the Microsoft uh, management operation site and it wasn't getting anything so I located uh, the agent and within the agent control panel uh, I went into the Azure operation insights and I inserted the workspace ID as well as the workspace key I applied it, press OK. It started doing this thing in the bottom, and I got the check mark. Once I got the check mark, I was able to go back into my uh, management suite online and refresh it. And it took uh, some time, so give it some time. Once you refresh it, that green check mark is good to go. So that's excellent. So the last step is add logs. Now, the add logs, I just check collect W3C for my IIS log files. And at the very bottom, there's a save. Just save it, refresh it, and eventually that's a green check mark. So I'm going to show you guys. Let's go inside the portal. So this is the portal right here. As you can see, I'm going to just go over here. All 100. All 100%. So we added our server. We only, we only got one server. We only got one server. And the logs again. I just clicked. I just clicked on that and it hit save, and it did its thing. Now, when you log in for the first time, by default, whatever you picked at the very first step, this is what you get. It takes some time for the malware assessment to populate, but when it does, you can click on it, and it gives you a rundown of with any problems or you know 
threats that you have on that particular machine. I really like this utility. I have the free plan right now. Uh, you got a daily upload limit of 500 megabytes. Retention period is seven days. You're you know you're able to upgrade your data plan, but I haven't really looked into it as of yet. But I'm pretty satisfied for what I have now. Now, if you click on my dashboard, this right here is going to be completely blank but you are able to click on customize and click the you can click a bunch you got a you got AD assessment which has eight modules tracking change tracking has six modules uh, general exportation you have four log management you have about 35 uh, you can log all IIS log entries you could do sys log records group or events I think I have all events and this is pretty cool you if you click on edit click on one you're able to do numbers or by graphs so that's pretty cool click on the customize to get out of it uh, right now all window services changes you click on that I have 35 and it gives you a rundown of all the services that are running or has been changed so I'm really enjoying this uh, for a free plan it's a great tool so let's go back into the dashboard like I'm missing one critical security update this is pretty cool you have you have this utility you have this agent on all your servers and it gives you a rundown of what uh, service packs that you need it'd been cool if you could click on it and install it on the spot but you really can't but it gives you a brief rundown or explanation of what the requirement is that's awesome I love that uh, you could do an export you can export uh, the information uh, with a CSV file keep collection of all your missing stuff so you could uh, patch it or approve it and the solution gallery is another cool thing you got a bunch of free things that you can add to your dashboard or to your management uh, suite uh, the ones that say own those are the ones that I already have attached you can actually have a capacity planning so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add capacity planning and it gives you a brief discussion or it gives you a brief description of what it's going to do for you. I'm going to click on add. That's awesome. And eventually it's going to take some time. Right now it's going to take some time uh, to populate. I just added this a couple of hours ago and it, it, it does take a while for this to populate. So if you do add something, you're refreshing it constantly and nothing pops up, just be patient, guys. It does populate with information, some good information because. Uh, again, when I did the malware assessment, it took a while for it to uh, populate. And the last thing that I noticed right here is I only got zero zero bytes usage, so I don't even have a lot. Again, you for the free plan, you got 500 megabytes. One server is not really utilizing as much, but once uh, once this guy starts going throughout the server and starts gathering all that information, all this stuff is going to be pre-populated. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this tool. Uh, I will leave all the information at the bottom of the description so you guys can go check out, log in, create your first workspace. Again, it's free. Uh, it's easy to manage. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video with the hands on. This uh, PowerPoint that I presented with you guys right here is going to be placed at my site. So go check that out. I will be placing the link for that at the description. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next hands on. Peace out.